Hello students. Today we will study unit number three, transformers. So in this video, we are going to derive the EMF equation for single phase transformer, which is EM sine of omega t minus pi by two, and also we will find out the RMS value of this potential, which is four point double four bmaf n. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay. So our target is what that we will reach to this results. So we'll start with that. That uh, we know very well that in the case of a transformer, what we are doing that we are supplying the alternating current to the primary winding, and that alternating current is the variable current, and that alternating current changes as per the equation of I is equals to I M sine of omega. we have seen its derivation also now due to this type of change in current whatever magnetic field lines are there that magnetic field lines will also be changed and due to that whatever flux is there that flux will also be changed according to the equation flux means phi phi is equals to phi m sin of omega t where phi m is the maximum flux omega is the angular frequency so due to this type of changing flux what happens whatever secondary coil is there inside of it due to the change in flux emf is induced according to the faraday's second law which is e is equals to minus d phi by dt now that much flux is produced produced in the one coil and total number of turns in the coils are suppose n so we will write e is equals to minus multiply with n number of turns d phi by dt total flux okay now same thing we can write e is equals to minus n d by dt of phi phi is what phi is phi m sin of omega t so e is equals to minus n phi m is the maximum flux which is constant so d by dt so we'll take outside of sin of omega t so e is equals to minus n phi m now differentiation of sin omega t is what with respect to t it is cos omega t multiply with differentiation of this two terms so omega is constant and uh, that t called differentiation is 1 so it will be cos omega t into omega so e is equals to minus n Phi m into omega cos of omega t. Now this EMF equation we are getting in cos, but we want in sine. So the same equation can be write like this: minus n phi m omega. Instead of sine, I will write uh, cos. I will write sine pi by two minus omega t. Can we write like this? Yes, we can because. Sine pi by two means what? Pi by two will convert sine into cos, so cos term will come. Pi by two minus something means what? First quadrant in first quadrant sine and cos both are positive, so we can write cos that sine omega t pi by sine pi by two minus omega t instead of cos omega t. Okay, so now we can say e is equals to. Now this is negative sine. That negative sine I will multiply inside. So n phi m omega. sin minus minus plus omega t sin omega t minus pi by 2 now that n phi m omega so somewhere over here i will write n phi m omega n phi m omega that is known as maximum potential or maximum emf so e is equals to that is em sin of omega t minus pi by 2 so that is known as emf equation for single phase transformer so that equation is important to remember now from that we will derive the rms value of potential we know the maximum value of potential that is the maximum value of potential so we also know very well that rms value of potential or you can say or you can say potential is what it is em by root 2 that we have derived this equation also in previous video lectures so value of e or you can say rms value of potential is how much em is what n phi m omega divided by root 2 
So E is equals to now I will write n phi m omega is what we know omega is equals to 2 pi f so omega is equals to 2 pi f divided by root 2 so E is equals to now I will say 2 pi divided by root 2 then phi m into n into f so E is equals to now if we calculate the value of 2 pi by root 2 1.414 so its value will be 4.44 phi m n into f so e is equals to 4.44 now flux is what flux is b into a if you talk about maximum flux so that will be our maximum uh, magnetic field it is also known as flux density also okay uh, so it will be 4.44 then instead of 5 m we will write bm into a n into f so that is the RMS value of potential which is 4.44 BM means you can say flux density or magnetic field then area of core and number of turns in the coil and F frequency. Also if you want to find out the uh, equation of flux density or magnetic field then phi M by A that will be in Weber and that will be per meter square. So that is the unit of a magnetic field density. So this is all about the story of EMF equation. Now in the next video we will solve a numerical based on it. So till then read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.